Good morning. This morning as we begin our time of prayer, if you have any prayer requests, please add them to the chat features on Zoom or Facebook, and feel free to send them to prayer at parkhillchurch.org. I want you to know this morning that we know that you are hurting, and we have been praying for you. Between the 200,000 deaths from COVID, the fires, the hurricanes, the election and life in general, and then the death of Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, there is so much grief and anxiety, and those are just a few of the emotions that we are feeling. Please know that we are praying for you and that we are holding you all in our hearts. I'm going to begin this morning with a practice that is familiar because we need familiarity this morning. So take a deep breath and put your feet firmly on the floor. And then take another breath and rest your back against something. Your chair, your bed, your loved one's hand, whatever is near. And know that in this moment you are grounded and supported. Good and gracious God, we mourn the death of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, a brilliant woman, jurist, and social activist. We thank you for her life and legacy and ask comfort for all of us in our grief. We are scared, too, for the future for women, for immigrants, LGBTQ, differently abled, and all who are othered. Who will take her place? We have so many questions, and we have much anxiety, but give us, we ask, courage and strength in our fear. It is easy to get so caught up in the business of our own lives that we forget that we are called to be transformers for justice in this world. There is so much pain, so much loneliness, sickness, loss, and so much injustice in this world that it can sometimes seem like just the way things are. Let us never forget, we pray, that creation contains the possibility of heaven on earth, a fellowship of humanity. Help us to put aside those things that distract us or avert our attention. Help us to listen to what is truly significant and to intentionally envision how we can live life with more integrity, gratitude, compassion, and grace. Let us never forget that the teachings of Jesus, as well as the teachings of so many other great spiritual leaders, can lead us to a world where suffering is greatly reduced. Empower us for peaceful living, we pray, asking us to consider the needs of others as well as our own, and call us to live nonviolently with loving kindness and conviction in the face of life's trials. Until that time, teach us not only to confront injustices, but to comfort those who suffer and to be open to receiving comfort when we are the ones who are suffering. Amen. And now let us say our common prayer together. Our Creator, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.